a hangout with us so presidents what we do so you have Bianca guidelines as to where we should be going. We are also as knowing to be well that the ministry is information based investments in the sector is what is done based on how qualitative the information you have. Now, one of the agencies that is responsible for this information gathering is the Nigerian Geological Survey Agency. And it has the mandate of producing uh, maps that give you geological information for your vessels to And they are supposed to produce 20 maps, let's say 100,000 per annum. And be able to cover the country 100% where they are. This may sound a bit easy as it looks. When you say maps, you are not just drawing the maps. You have to get the necessary information for you to be able to prepare the map. It's a lot of work that needs to be done. Now, the Minister of Power talked about coal and the transformation agenda said you should adopt coal as a fuel, not to provide power. We are not yet to do so. As gas is fuel for power generation. Coal is also a fuel for power generation. We've been given the mandate to make sure that we produce enough coal to produce 30% of the power requirement of the country by the year 2015. So that's that's where the Minister of Power is going in, where our own operation is currently going on the trying to get us to this. And we are making very good progress uh, at this point. Now, other requirements of the transformation, like I said, the ministry is being transformed from there to 2007. We have brand new laws, and the laws ask us to do certain things that uh, make sure that uh, uh, it is uh, properly effective. Uh, and one of the one of the one of the requirements is for us to make sure that we immediately can put in motion all the requirements of the law makes its implementation what so requires such institutional and regulatory frameworks uh, in place. <coughs> that is the first and I think that's something we can do for one cover those those uh, requirements of the law. We are also facilitating the exploitation of this region to meet local demand and exports by the year 2015. This is only a bit very welcome to all of you and how we can be going up and down for quite some time. And uh, currently, we are working to make sure that uh, this environment of the President's own transformation agenda is, uh, is uh, seriously affected. Uh, in the case of steel, the steel, uh, the consumption of steel is normally measured in the uh, capita consumption. Currently, our uh, capita consumption for steel is at about 10 kilograms per capita. China has 180 kilograms per capita. Just to give you an idea of where we are. Now, the target we are given is to raise our capital consumption to 100 kilograms by the year 2020. The revitalization of the entire steel industry is also part of the mandate given us to undertake. And we are given the target of 3 million metric tons of steel by the year 2020. At the, at the beginning of uh, this this uh, this document, I think our projection was about 400,000 uh, 400,000 metric tons, and as I'm talking to you, uh, the point of 1.5 million metric tons, and there is this something in the, in the crowd that are largely responsible for that because it's not the government that is driving this. How do they transform to allow the private sector to take charge in some of these activities? We are local city park and waiting for the government to take up 
get us to be effective. So we are working with the private sector in the steel production of the small private sector outreach to be able to navigate this and take it to the level because the idea is to provide steel for local production. And that's what we are trying to Please close the question. Come down. Listen to what's being presented, please. Thank you. The other areas that, uh, that we have also been uh, uh, asked to work on the, the, the protection of other metals, not just steel, like uh, the Aston that is there. Also, the Aston has been uh, sold off, and uh, it looks like we have no role to play there. We try to find all the One of the major and most important things is to ensure that the industries are raw materials locally to be able to currently we are working with us to try to see that we experience the very good oxide level this in the number state, serve as basic raw material for a medium uh, production. This is despite the fact that Aspen is now privately owned and a lot of people we still use our own regular technologies to make sure that we uh, grow them into the mix and be able to drive this uh, this government's uh, own uh, requirement uh, forward. Other achievements, the achievement that uh, and now talk about uh, air gaps, regulatory framework. Like I told you, we are a regulatory ministry. We are no more doing the producing minerals and when we have the Nigerian mining operations, we are the ones doing the mining. So we can determine how many tons of minerals we can produce. All the assets of the uh, Nigerian uh, mining operation can be privatized. We can only regulate and, and, and guide how the sector runs so that uh, it uh, this is the minerals effectively. So one of the things that we have put in place is the regulatory framework that runs the sector. Now some of the issues that we dealt with the sector before were issues of discretionary decisions. When you're there as a minister, it's a decision that determines what happens and what not happens. And that's why private sector uh, even 